everyone, Sophia here. Guess what? I am starting a 28 day routine challenge. This is based on the Fly Lady. You guys have been asking me to continue to do the Fly Lady on video, so I'm gonna do it. So this month, I'm gonna try every day to film a little something just to share how I have been maintaining the house because let's face it, I've been doing the Fly Lady for how long now? A little bit over six months. The house is in pretty good shape. Much better than it's ever been. Um, well, I'm not gonna say that. There's some areas that are still kind of iffy, but that's because, you know, it's me, I got stuff, all right? Um, so what am I gonna do? It's the first day, today is February the 1st. We are in zone one. We're in zone one from today until the third. And zone one is the entrance, the dining room, the front closet. But on top of those things, I want to share with you some of the things that I do that are kind of routines to me now. And it's, um, a lot of it has got to do with Fly Lady and some of it is just the way things are in my house. I give you an example. It is quarter to six. I just got home, literally just got home. And when I get home, I get one of two things and it's got to do with the dishwasher. We're in the kitchen, by the way, look, 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 you see, kitchen is clean. Okay. So when I come home, again, I get one of two things. I either get the dishwasher full and never emptied, but clean dishes, or I get the dishwasher full and dirty dishes because it was never started. So let's find out what we got today. Or the suspense. Okay, the dishwasher is full. And it was never started. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do that. Okay, so real quick, this is the new dishwasher. This is the Bosch. This is the 800 series. This one is called Silence Plus 44 DBA. I had done another um, video on this and then I never edited it. So I'm just gonna show you uh, while we at it. Okay, so there's a tray at the bottom. Okay, all dirty dishes here. I'm losing space in this dishwasher because it is smaller than the one I had before. But I'm gonna show you where I gained it. So I have a second tray here and this one actually, I can move it up or down. So I have it in the most up position because my plates are really large but I'm getting space here because I have a fur tray right here for um I'm sorry I'm showing you my dirty dishes I have a fur tray here for the utensils so the one thing that I like about this dishwasher is that you put the tab here right you don't put it into the little compartment there and then all the way in the back you can't see it for sure uh, what do you do? Okay, right here, this one thing right here, that is a salt compartment. So why is having a salt compartment important to me? Because I have really, really hard water. I got this test strip and you know, it goes for different shades from very light yellow to dark red. Okay, and mine was dark red. I have super hard water and it destroys everything. Did it destroy the former dishwasher? Maybe not. Leave the dishes alone, Le Chiffre, stop. Ugh. Um, I don't know. The other dishwasher had plenty problems, not just related to the hard water. But anyway, so you put the salt in it and you, I purchased it online. It's just like coarse salt for dishwashers and you put it in there and then when it's empty it lets you know but what it does is that it softens the water so it lengthens the life of your dishwasher basically so I'm just gonna go ahead and start the dishwasher and then we're gonna look at the zones so usually when I come home I either have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea tonight there's a cup of coffee so let me start the dishwasher I'm gonna show you how easy it is and then we'll check the dishes after to see if they're clean so I put the tab in there I already have the jet dry really love this dishwasher let me tell you it makes no noise okay so on we're going to sanitize this is not a heavy load which is gonna go normal and start two hours and 15 minutes it makes no noise can you hear it? That's just the sink. Okay, so usually I come home, um, I spend a little time with the kids, which I did already, uh, while, because it's six o'clock already. <laughs> Um, like 10 15 minutes that I was here um, you know checking on the grades who's got homework how was school blah blah and um, this is the time at which I start making dinner um, I'm in luck today because I made double portion last night so I have some um, of my pork ribs you know in the gravy that I make and I'm just gonna put uh, a pot of pasta and some vegetables later on but not now so I have a little bit of time um, yeah it's just about 5:58 right now so what I'm gonna do is start my one
one load a day because when you do the fly lady there's certain baby steps that we do and these are the things that you do every single day so i'll give you an example every day I'm not gonna film the morning routine, by the way. I'm just saying, you know, cause there's no way I'm gonna have time um, because I gotta get out the door and so no morning routine. So every day, basically you shine your sink. Okay, so you always come home to a clean sink. Um, you do a load of laundry and you swish and swipe the toilet and the sinks and then you do a 15 minute declutter in your zone so for me today it's zone one again so we're going to do for today tomorrow and saturday we'll do 15 minute declutter in the entryway um, the dining room and the coat closet and then once you're done with your 15 minutes you start your zone cleaning so I'm going to show you what it looks like right now in my zones because I'm pretty proud of myself this is my entryway and yeah there's no clutter look usually I have a ton of stuff here there's no clutter um, I have a few things I need to do today and it's just like there's a spot here I need to clean I'm just gonna do the walls that's it and maybe if I have time I'll do the floors okay so my entryway is number one the second room in the zone one is the dining room and the dining room there is barely anything that needs to be done if you follow my channel you know I have just done a complete dining room back to zero so yeah the dining room is super clean I don't have anything to clutter maybe I'll sweep and I'll mop that's about it however and I'm not doing this tonight hold on I'm gonna blind you whoops okay this all the shoes and the coat closet that definitely needs to be um, redone. I'm not going to do it tonight because I'll do it Saturday. <laughs> that's uh, that's why. So basically that's all we're doing. Um, Thursday, Friday and Saturday zone one. We're doing the entrance, we're doing the dining room, we're doing the uh, coat closet, your front door. For me the entrance is the back door. But anyway, so that's what I'm doing. So again, the routines, the swish and swipe, the sink, the uh, load of laundry and then the decluttering and some cleaning um i don't have to look at my calendar because i did that last night i don't have any bills to pay i already checked the mail i'm done with that so let me go ahead and do a load of laundry and i will meet you again when i'm ready to start cleaning okay so i'm back in the kitchen it is um 6 10. it took me 10 minutes to start a load of laundry and fold william's clothes and put them in a basket so when he comes back um, around because he's doing homework upstairs right now um, I'll have him take that upstairs and he's going to file his clothes and he'll bring me the empty basket so 610 I'm gonna work for about 20 minutes um, yeah just in the entry that's all I'm gonna do today so I'm gonna sweep I'm gonna wash the floor I'm going to uh, quickly dust and take care of the, um, the um, stains that I have on the wall. I don't need to do the pantry. I'm going to show you. The pantry is done. Um, so you see, when you start doing the fly lady and you do it consistently, you get to a point where there's barely anything to do. Like in the dining room, I got nothing to do, okay? Because uh, I did a thorough cleaning um, in January. When did I finish it? Last week, I think. And it's been staying pretty much the same. So at best, I'll have to mop the floor and that's about it. Yes, Electra, I see you. Oh, the kids walk the dogs already. Um, okay, so let me start in there. And you know, the purpose here, guys, is to show you that there's light at the end of the tunnel. Um, it took a very long time for me to get it together, but I'm almost there. I'm not saying that I'm totally there because this relapses all the time, but I'm almost there. It is a joy to be able to come home spend at best 30 minutes doing all the routines and then I can go about my business such as quilting Pat Sloan and following Pat Sloan's quilt along I'm doing the um, let's go camping quilt I'll put the links down below right here for those of you who are following and then um, this week she came up with a new one that's a new block every week so I'm I can't wait to go downstairs okay so I'm just gonna sweep and what I'm looking at here is possible um, cobwebs which I usually have underneath the uh, you know the overhang of the cabinets I'm just bringing all my dirt here and then when I'm done with the sweeping I'm just gonna go ahead with my um, mop my steam mop and steam mop the whole area I 
Le chiffre, it would be helpful if you were not around. This entryway always has leaves, dog hair, dust. I would have to do it every day. Really. So I'm using that pledge again, by the way, um, and I'm going to show you. Remember one day I did the kitchen two weeks ago? I have not done the front of the fridge in two weeks. And I'm going to show you how this pledge lemon clean really made a huge difference. We barely have any smudges on the fridge right now. I just noticed that the other day I was like, wow, it's amazing. That stuff actually works. So I'm just going to put some real quick on the rag and then go over all of my stuff, my knickknacks. I'm too short. I'm too short. Okay. I don't want to go get this tool. And all I'm doing really is dust. And what's going to happen probably next month that I'm not going to have to do that because it's not like I collect that much dust, okay? But there's one area I really want to make sure I do is the top right here. Uh, and you see, look, nothing. You know why? Because I do it all the time. Nothing. Okay, so I don't really need to dust this. This is all done. Let me show you the pantry. Okay, pantry stayed exactly the way it was the last time you saw it. There is nothing new except this one here. So we're just gonna straighten. And here is the same. Here, you can see. Here is the same. And I know you're all eagerly awaiting to see what kind of empty packages of cookies I'm going to find this time around. So this is really the only area that needs to be um, decluttered or straightened up. Okay, dates, we're still eating them. These, I love those with tea. Uh, this pack here is good. Got another pack here that's good. Chocolate, put it back where it belongs. What is that? Oh, that's the licorice. That's dance. Okay. And that little box here of cookies, I'm going to dump those in there. Right. Because that worked for me. Here we go. Okay. Nope. Okay. That's so we're good here. Nothing's changed here, everything is fine over there. And over here, nothing's changed either. Okay, hope you can see me. I was staying right here, and I'm almost done with this, so I'm just gonna finish it off. Um, I am not going to wet a rag and um, clean my walls with it. This time around, yes, I see you. And I'll tell you why, because I'm doing my whites right now. That's the load that, yes, okay. That's the load I started and um, all my rags and my kitchen towels are in the wash right now. And I don't want this one to get wet because I'm gonna use it later on. No, you cannot touch the pantry. Okay, so just a few stains here and there. I'm not washing the walls up and down. I'm just doing stains, that's it. And since I have antibacterial wipes, I'm just gonna go at this because you guys, it's flu season. I had to go to the hospital today because uh, one of my patients was um, committed um, on the psych unit and everybody that was a worker at the hospital was wearing a mask. <laughs> So I went in and I'm like, uh, did I miss something? Is there any reason why I don't have a mask? Where are the masks? So I ended up getting a mask from the nurses because uh, uh, this girl here doesn't want to catch the flu, okay? And no, I do not get vaccinated against the flu. So let me do the other light switch. I always got a stain here. It's the little stuff, you know? Look, it's not even dirty, but I just have like a shadow from I don't know, dirty handprint, whatever. But like I said, it's the little stuff. Once you really decluttered your house, um, and you get to a level where you're comfortable with what you have, then these routines, like they're really not that cumbersome. They don't take that much time. Okay. 
fold that over and this and that. So I'm going to use this like I did in my living room. This is the Method Wood for Good Squirt and Mop. This is non-toxic. There's no chemical in this. It's all natural product and it's biodegradable, biodegradable plastic, surface, uh, surface safe, non-toxic, plant-based. And it smells wonderful. And we're gonna see how dirty, and that's it. And I'm, whatever goes on this, it's gonna go throughout the whole floor. I'll put some on the tiles too, okay. And I'm using my steam mop. So we're gonna see how dirty the floor is because um, the last time I did it was Saturday. It's Thursday, so Saturday, we're gonna say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, well, you know the days of the week, Thursday, five days. Let's see how dirty it gets in this back entrance, which is our main entrance for us. Between the dogs back and forth, we've had rain, we've had snow. Um, what else we had? So the salt from the snow, you name it. So this floor is probably very grimy. So let's just get all horrified at the amount of dirt that gets trapped in my house. Let's look at the time. You see that? You see that? 6.30. Okay. I spent, I think, 20 minutes and I did my whole entryway. Let's look at the rag and see how dirty it is. In the meantime, do you see what I mean? Do you see streaks? There's barely any. I'm telling you, this thing here, amazing job on stainless steel appliances. What a lifesaver. Okay. Let's see how dirty it is. Because I have no shame. There you go. Okay. That was my entryway. Which, to be honest, is not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, considering we had snow and rain. So I must be maintaining pretty good. It's time to swish and swipe. We are in the kids' bathroom. I'm just going to do the sink real quick. Remove spots on the mirrors. Uh, swish the toilet. Change the toilet roll, even though I have this right here which is pretty obvious but not utilized so i'll do that uh, i have some stuff to pick up and i don't know what that is i have to pick this up too okay so right now we're not in the zone um we're in the regular routine you know the routines you do every day if you do the fly lady so uh, i'm just going to put things back where they belong and I'm gonna go at it uh, with the rag I use for this. Spray it, I have a method all purpose, that's what I use in this bathroom. And I'll do the toilet with the uh, Clorox wipes. I've already cleaned the toilet. I'm just doing the swishing. Right, so their bathroom is back to zero. It's swished and swiped. It took three minutes. It smells good, there's no stain, and it's ready for tonight. I'm moving upstairs. This is my sink, and my sink is always clean because I swipe it every night. The point is that you just basically remove any hair, if you got any makeup, I'm just going over the counter, sprucing things up a little bit now that I have to declutter anything because I put everything back where it belongs now. Yes, I know, I have some relapses, I've said it before, but overall I think I'm doing so much better than how I was doing before. So, a little bit of toothpaste here. You don't even need to put any product on that, you just go at it with paper towel. And that's it, moving on to the toilet and I will be done. I'm just finishing this, I only have one, two left. Oh, no, that's the last one. Okay, let me do the toilet with that. 
Uh, my vanity is clean, you can tell. And I'm done. And it is 6.46. So, uh, a little bit over half an hour because I started at 6.10, you remember? Um, so 36 minutes. I have one load of laundry done. I swish and swipe, I'm sorry, the toilet. I swish and swipe um, all of the bathrooms. I clean my entrance. I wash the walls. I dusted what needed to be dusted. I fixed the um, pantry a little bit. I started the load of dishes. And because this gal here is not too bright, we all know that, I totally forgot. But wait, Sophia, are you going to quilt tonight? Because technically I have 35, 40 minutes now before I start putting the pasta together. Because remember, dinner's made already. Um, if I have to edit this video so there will be no quilting tonight that's okay I can manage our quilt this weekend um so that's it I'm done so you see I technically when you do the fly lady she wants you uh, to swish and swipe before you go to bed okay most of the time this is not working out for me because by the time I go to bed I'm like this so there's no swishing and swiping happening no zero so I do it when I come home it works for me, the kids, and we go to a clean bathroom anyway every night. So instead of waking up to a clean bathroom, we go to bed to a clean bathroom. Same difference, right? Um, so that's about it. So you see, it doesn't take a long time. And remember, it took longer for me to do this today because I'm filming and I'm moving the camera around and I'm, you know, if I was doing it without filming, it would take literally less than 30 minutes. So now my load of laundry downstairs is probably completed. I'm going to um, rotate it, put it into the dryer. It's going to stay in the dryer and tomorrow when I come home, I'll take the stuff out of the dryer, fold it, start a new load and that will be it. So, are you up for a 28-day routine challenge? Every day we do the sinks, we swish and swipe, we declutter. There was no decluttering needed today in um, zone one for me. Again, because I just concentrated on the entryway and this, there was nothing to declutter. So there was no decluttering, but every day we're going to declutter for about 15 minutes, clean a little bit for about 15 minutes, do a load of laundry, swish and swipe your bathrooms, shine your sink, and that will be it. Okay, so let's get started. This is day one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye.